Hello everyone, Raimia here, and welcome to the second and presumably final part of my playthrough of Super Mario and the Cliffs of Spring. This is a mod made by Duplo, who is known for making Kaizo mods, or at least like Kaizo levels, and uh, he's gone ahead and made this very unique looking uh, New Super Wii mod. It's, uh, it's one word long, but it's still um, I still felt the need to split this up into two parts because uh, these levels are quite long and complex and still relatively difficult, despite it not technically being a Kaizo mod. Um, so yeah, you should definitely check out the first part because uh, you, you don't want to miss, like, these levels are really interesting and uh, you'll be really confused, I think, uh, going into these levels uh, if you haven't already seen the first part. Anyways, on to 1-4. Yes, yeah, so this is a mod based on uh, just Nishmar as we standard stuff, but it's still super duper custom. Uh, look at this. This is really cool looking. I really like the look of this. This, um, oh, what does this grass remind me of? It reminds me of the, the grass in, um, like, the Canon Super Mario Bros. Wii, um, forest tile set, I think? Yeah, kind of. There's definitely something, I mean, it's like a ledge there, but I don't think I can jump that. So, I'm just gonna go to the right, if you don't mind. We've already been missing a bunch of secrets in this mod, so, like, whatever. Oh, nice blind jump. Yeah, that, that kind of is a blind jump, oh, whatever. I mean, it's, it's a blind jump where the, the, the level designer expects you not to make it and expects you to still like just kind of jump over there. That's fine. Yeah, so these are very atmospheric and you know also kind of like grayscale levels. Can I? Oh, there's a pipe there. With... Okay, maybe it's like a P switch somewhere. Uh, but you can't even make that jump without Yoshi, can you? I don't think so. Oh, I like how in the background you've got like those like towering mountains with little trees on them. And you have the same here in the foreground, like the level design matches the the, the background rocks. The, the, the background itself, I should say. Like, there we go. I think. I'm hoping that's the first star coin. If we're missing so many star coins, it would be embarrassing to, you know, continue on that trend entirely. Yeah, so I guess this level just completely expects you to keep Yoshi the entire way through. That's interesting. What if I lost him? <laughs> Yeah, if you, if you didn't watch my first part, or it's been a while since you've seen it or don't remember it much. Oh my god! Wait. That's really, uh, wow, okay. Um, yeah, my main complaint so far with this mod has probably been, or at least like the main source of my frustration with this mod has been the fact that, uh, is there like, uh, hmm? Is that the, um, the background rocks in this mod, or like just background elements in general in this mod tend to look like foreground elements, and foreground elements look like background elements, so it's hard to tell what does and doesn't have collision. I don't know what to do here. Maybe I'm supposed to just like... Uh, hmm. Yeah, I had to look that one up in the editor. I have no idea why did... Why... What? Like, what? I'm just, what? What? Why was that? that? That's the main route. I don't know what the heck that was about. Like, why is that in the mods? I just, sorry, I'm, I'm just like... What? Oh, hey, I could totally throw the spring down there and I would be, uh, have to kill myself. That's nice. That's, uh... <laughs> okay, let's just, let's, just, let's, just, let's just move on from that. Oh, is there just another hidden block here? Or... I think I'm just supposed to, like... Uh... Did I take the spring with me? Oh... Oh, this is like a little puzzle thing. All right, that's uh interesting. You could totally screw that up, right? Like you could totally just like throw Yoshi off a pit or whatever. I'm not personally a fan of level design where um you can intentionally or not, or not even intentionally where you can quite easily like do something in the mod that makes it to where you have to kill yourself because like the level is unbeatable now. Uh, yeah, okay. Oh, no, not Yoshi. Okay, I'm fine. Yeah, like, there's a lot, there's a lot of, like, invisible walls are in stuff to make sure that the, um, that, like, stuff can't go wrong, but I still feel like this, it, it's easy to make things go wrong. This is a very, like, I guess you could say Kaizo mentality, where, like, you know, if you don't do what the level designer wants you to do, it's fine for you to just have to kill yourself and stuff, and, well, that sounds very gruesome, but I mean, just, like, it's fine for you to have to, like, reset the level manually in that sense. And that's not something I'm personally a fan of. That's not something that you know, Nintendo does in their levels. Even though I understand that this isn't meant to be Nintendo-like level design. Yeah, starting this, uh, starting this episode off interestingly. 
Oh, I guess I could have used the P-Switch. Oh, I'm, I, I kind of overcomplicated that, didn't I? I could have used the P-Switch to get the uh, the Proto Block. Okay. So I think getting the Proto Block is actually the uh, the ultimate, you know, thing you're supposed to do. I wonder if I can do that with, like, a triple jump off of the propeller Block. Uh, well. Ah, uh, probably not. I'll, I'll just go for this, this, this one. I don't, I don't care too much. This is all uh, interesting so far. Uh, uh, where does the bob bombs go? They just kind of leave. We got Goombas. I guess we can use the Goombas to jump up there. Then what? Oh, wait. Oh, I'm, I'm supposed to triple jump off of the Goomba or can I just triple jump this? No, I don't think I can. Yeah, it's one block short. No, I can't even do that. Huh. Well, is there another invisible block? Oh, there is. Oh my god. Why is this here? I guess I could jump on the... I mean, I don't I don't think I'm supposed to do a mid-air Goomba jump to get into the pipe, am I? I could try. Ah, what the heck is this level? <laughs> Oh, got a game over. Great. <laughs> well, here we are again. I might just have to look this up, the one up in the editor again. Like, there must be something else here, right? This, this isn't it. And I feel like if there is something hidden here and there is no indication for it, I just, like, I just don't care that, like, I have to find that myself. I just find that... What? Why, why is this here? What? Wait, what just happened? Why is this suddenly here? How... how... what? <laughs> I feel like there's like something I'm missing or I don't know there must be something I'm missing right yeah so apparently the puzzle in this room is that you're supposed to I don't know jump at like random locations I guess where like the pillars are cracked but there's no no indication for that at all like I mean I guess you say oh the pillars are cracked so that must be the indication what I just don't care I just find it terrible uh, what am I supposed to do now? I don't even know. I mean, I'm not even big anymore, so it's not like I could try and, you know, like hit those blocks. Not that I can, anyways. Ah, I haven't the brownie. Okay. Yeah, well, that was terrible. I just, nah, I just don't like that. I'm sorry. <laughs> It's not, not, not something for me, and I don't feel like it's something that I thought this mod would be, honestly. I thought it would just be like. At least semi-traditional levels, not like this kind of... I don't know, this feels like a Mario Maker, like, troll puzzle level, if that makes sense. Oh, I don't know whether the rest of this level is also going to be this. Uh, I hope not, honestly. <laughs> yeah, I guess from now on I'll just look for random little oddities in the tiling to indicate random things spawning. Uh, oh, it's like a res reset pipe. Wait, I guess, oh right, this is not solid. How would I know? Huh. 
How would I hit that gland? I mean, I could just damage boost. Yeah, I don't know why this mother suddenly turned into this. This is not <laughs> not what I thought it would be, honestly. Oh, I, okay, nice. There goes Yoshi. Do I keep Yoshi? Do I do I even need Yoshi in this section? Maybe not actually. I guess we'll just damage boost. Like I don't know what else to do. <laughs> All right, good level. I'm sure that's not what we're supposed to do, but like, oh, we've suddenly got this as well. What is happening? What is this more turned into? Like, I don't mean to be like mean or anything, but why is this level this? You know, these all feel like Toad House ideas. You know, like like if you want to set up a little mini game thing, I don't know. Well, no, not even that. I mean, like what we like the one with the like the two two so far things, which is a random hidden stuff. What am I supposed to do here? I don't even. What? <laughs> I feel like I was supposed to learn something in a previous section that allowed me to like realize how to kill Prana Plants from below or something. But I haven't learned it because they're just damage boost. To... Or either that or I'm missing something. Maybe there's like a custom code thing that's not installed. Or maybe, maybe all of this actually makes sense and I'm just like stupid. I don't know. Yo, blind drop pipe. Oh, cool. Ah, cool. Sure. Yeah, I, I like that. That was fun. Oh, well, well, rip your sheep. <laughs> Hope we don't, we didn't need him. I mean, I think we did. I didn't make that other jump before, so. Oh, I guess I'll just go for the biggest jump I can make. That's not it. I don't know what I'm supposed to do. Like, I just don't, like, what? I just, <laughs> what? Alright, I guess we're facing this guy. Alright, this is interesting. I mean, if you kill all of them, you're, you'd just be screwed, right? Oh! Oh! I, I mean, I was expecting it to just tile gold those away or something, but... Cool, I got an item for, like, in, in trade of my item. That's... <laughs> whatever. Alright, on to 1-5. Oh, this is a cool uh, atmosphere. Oh, great, a dark level. A dark underwater level, even people's favorites. I mean, I don't, I don't like. I think, I, I think it just about any level type can be designed well, you know. Is that Nintendo is often oh by by uh, Nintendo is often done done these levels uh, in particular uh, poorly. That's why people associate them with like annoying stuff or whatever. But who knows? Maybe maybe this one will uh, break that trend. Yeah. At least I don't think this one's going to be a, a puzzle palace or whatever that last uh, that last level was. So, yeah. Oh no, I could just do that. Okay. Oh, I like the lamps that turned on. That's cool. Oh, okay. Yeah, I'm, I'm kind of at a loss for words for what to say about this mod after that last level. I don't know. 
Just hoping, um, hoping that's uh, that's the only instance of that kind of level in this mod. Is it? Yeah, it wasn't fun. I like the vibes of this level at least. Uh, this is. Oh, this is reminding me of um, this one level in the Luigi Land Wii, uh, which also has like urchins and vertical old scrolling underwater kind of stuff. Oh. Pretty cool so far, I think unique. Which is like, if you want to say anything about this mod, unique is definitely the word to describe it. Uh, oh, oh, I didn't, oh. Uh. Okay, we're kind of just like chilling. That's also unique, <laughs> sure. Wait, that might be a... Uh... Yeah, okay, that's a second Star Crown, I think. It's hard to tell, once again. I've oh, got these rotating blocks. It's like a weird, like, you see, like, it's like a weird, like, cutoffs with the way the li the lighting. Oh, that's a checkpoint. Cool. Oh, this is interesting. So I'll just go up here and then. Oh, it's the next one. There we go. Yeah, there's like weird cutoffs with the way, like, the lighting works, but that might just be a dolphin thing. I'm actually not sure. Oh, this is suddenly very bright. Like the opposite of the last sections. Uh. Wow, this is crazy. I mean, it's kind of kind of really cool, honestly. But like, wow. Can I even? Uh. I'm not sure if I can get this even. What? Okay, there we go. Jesus. What kind of section is this? <laughs> oh, I fell. Oh no. Sure, whatever. Let's just continue. Yeah, so I ultimately jump over the water here. Like, I don't. I'm not even holding jump. Urchins plus uh, water bubbles is always a, a good combo that Nintendo never really used, I think, so, yeah. This certainly seems precarious, especially with me not having any power-ups at the moment. Oh, hello. Well, maybe. Oh, no, this is a... Ah, damn it. Oh, God. I can't. Mm, maybe I can. There we go. Awesome. I'm right, gonna feel a lot more safe now. Oh, I'm getting like a random, like, like every like 10 minutes or something playing this mod, I'm getting like a single lag spike like that for some reason. And there goes my fire already. Oh, and that spike's down there, cool. I don't, I'm not sure how I feel about like the, 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 the brightness in this zone. I know it's intentional and I know it's like, yeah, but <laughs> it's quite something. Oh, I'm dead. Oh, I'm not dead. Oh, I'm not dead. Cool. Oh god, uh, right, I'm supposed to go up, I think, maybe, no, okay, oh yeah, it's arrows to the right, but like, okay, sure, whatever, screw it, oh my god, oh, these weren't any spikes or anything, Jesus, I can't see anything, I can't even tell what, where the water is and isn't supposed to be, oh my god, okay, that's another level. Jesus Christ. Oh my god, that cheap cheap. Okay, <laughs> I know that's let's get the top of the goal, but I don't care. Holy crap, that almost sniped me. Oh, that was um Oh, that was tense, honestly. Like that was uh, that was quite something. Alright. One dash six. I haven't seen this one level that Duplo showed on his channel, which I uh yeah, this one, alright, yeah. Oh, 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 oh. god, he throws that all the way up here, okay. Hello. Yeah, this is a... Uh, it's interesting how a lot of these like levels have very different uh, tile sets. Like, not just like, you know, because a lot of them are just basically grey mountains, but still, like, 
this this level uses like a different gray mountain tiles in it from the last one and the one before that and like it's uh yeah oh god these guys seem precarious set up like that I've also found it interesting to use um, both this like spike ball sprites and um, spikes that throw spike balls um, in the same level because they, they act kind of differently. You know, the physics are very different and just like the, oh my god, I'm not dead. Um, just like the fact that like these spike balls um, don't don't go away when they hit a wall, whereas the, the spikes spike balls uh, do. Yeah, it's interesting. I don't have the motion control set up. Oh god. Wait, I thought I did. Oh damn. Huh. Oh wait, do I? Oh, I kind of do. Oh, okay, yeah, I'm playing on Dolphin. Um, oh, this is interesting. Oh god. What about if I... I could have sworn I had it set up. I, I actually checked already because I remember this level was, was here and I... Ah, oh, this is going to be interesting. Add a challenge. I don't know if I can do this. I think it's set up the way I do at the moment. Oh, I almost got it. Oh, it's a little... Okay. Okay, we got past it. No way. I don't need motion controls. <laughs> Maybe I will. I probably will. Uh... Come here. Oh, he's actually coming. Great. That works. I think I'm supposed to go... Oh, okay, bye. Uh... Oh, okay. Why is that spike ball there? I guess it's just to be a threat. This has been pretty nice so far, this level, I think. Like, it's just uh, the level design elements have been used well, I think. And hey, a checkpoint that isn't like super duper long into the level. Amazing. Oh, this is a very uh, Nero Wii like section. I think it's uh, one Nash Castle in Nero Wii. And also, uh, is it three Nash Castle? I think in Nero DS also does something like this. I don't think I've ever actually, I've ever actually like, set up a section like this myself, though it is like quite a common thing to do. It's, it's, it's cool because it just like allows you to control the player's movements entirely. Uh, while still adding a challenge because they still have to follow along and stuff and still have these uh these spike balls to, to dodge as well oh god okay all right we got past it i was gonna say like doesn't that guy kill the other guy okay that's a short-lived uh, section like that i don't often see that used in such a way it's kind of interesting though Oh, is it still following me? Uh, oh yeah, it is. That's funny. Oh. Oh god. Yeah. So what, I've, what I have is I have a button set up to to allow me to spin the controller. The problem is that okay. Mm, I guess I'll just let the ball the ball to roll over here. Yeah, that works. Right. Oh my god. Let's just chill. Oh, I didn't quite chill enough. Oh, that's a nice little subversion of expectations, that. Oh, this is going to be interesting, uh, not being able to control anything. Oh god. Oh, this is probably going to go terribly wrong. Ah, oh, I almost made it. Ah. No, damn it, I made it so far without even using the motion. Ah. Alright, made it past that. This is interesting. Oh my god, I still... 
No, let's not die. Okay, Jesus. <laughs> I thought that's fun. That's a, I, I like that little like subversion. All right, and that's the end of the level. Good. That was probably my favorite level so far, I think, even though I couldn't even fully enjoy it because of my lack of motion controls. You know, the fact that it wasn't that frustrating, even though I was missing a central element of the level, that, like, I think that goes to show that that level was actually pretty, like, difficult, but still uh, nicely designed and not that frustrating, even though it, it should have been even more frustrating than the average level for me because of, you know, not having motion controls. Anyways, on to the castle, which, as far as I'm aware, is, like, super terribly difficult, so yay! The mixture of the, like, two different tall sets here is kind of interesting. Like, why, why, why both? Can I go into the door? Uh, no? I don't think I can. What? Where's this block here? Ah. Ah. Okay. Did you really think the oldest brother would just let you in? Use the secret entrance underneath the signboard. Okay. The oldest brother. Secret entrance underneath the signboard. Building like a whole story here. Okay. Or like a little zoom. This is cool. Oh, I I was expecting to go come from the door, but I was just like down here. That's funny. All right. Yeah. So apparently this is like super difficult. This level, not quite Kaiser difficulty, but it's still um, yeah, it's something. So we'll have to see about that, I guess. <laughs> maybe this is just maybe this is just the end of the playthrough. Maybe I just won't like won't care, you know. I almost gave up in one four, so uh, who knows? Oh oh! I almost got frozen. Oh, he's juked me. Oh, this is... Oh, I almost did it, but then I didn't quite get the jump afterwards. No, I don't know what's solid or not. Okay. I thought I thought that entire wall there wasn't... Oh, I don't, I don't want to be there. I don't care about the star coin. I just want to live. Oh, please. Thank you. Okay. I guess we'll do the, the more saturated pipe first. Yeah, I guess this is like a thing where you have to do both sections and then you can continue. Oh, big ice block. Cool. Bye. <laughs> Also, I feel like I could deal with, like, this kind of, like, platforming difficulty better than I can with, like, the stupid puzzles or whatever from 1-4. I mean, I say that now. Who knows? Who knows by the end of it? But, uh, yeah, so far, at least, this seems this seems bearable to me. Crazy as it sounds. Once again, don't care about the star coins, I just care to progress. If that's okay. Oh, I should. I, mm, I probably shouldn't have activated that. I don't know.
I'm mostly quite enjoying this so far, I, like unexpectedly, uh, to be honest, because I, I I was kind of fearing this level, but like not not to downplay it or not to you know knock on wood or whatever, but um, yeah, like this so far seems you know, quite bearable. It's definitely difficult, uh, but it's just like difficult, you know, jumping and stuff. Nothing, nothing like too complex. Okay, it's gonna line up with the yeah. It's gonna oh, it doesn't even hurt me. Okay. Uh, can I just like, oh, yeah, I think I can. Yeah, I wonder if that's the intended way or not. There we go. Okay. Let's do this. <laughs> hoping, hoping I get a checkpoint. What do you do? <laughs> I like all the background details. Look at look at this style. Set. It looks so nice. All right, airship section, and then midway. That's good. This doesn't seem. This doesn't sound like the same kind of music that we've had throughout the uh, the mod, does it? Oh, what? What? Oh God! Well, that was terrible. I just got a midway. Um, but yeah, this sounds more like you know traditional kind of remix of some Nintendo theme or something, or maybe an original theme, I don't know. Oh my god, what? Oh, I actually made it. Nope. Okay, that ice broke. Okay, we made it. <laughs> I kind of want to check what's down there, but that's not. <laughs> Just give me a midway or something. There's been so many doors in this uh, level, haven't there? Like so many of these like boss doors. This one's like all dark and uh, like, I don't know. I don't wanna say low quality, but you can kind of see like weird, I guess like low contrast, yeah. We meet at last, Mario. I've been looking forward to this. Oh, is it like Mario's long lost older brother? Oh no, it's just Ludwig, okay. Okay. What? Oh, it's just a wall jump. Oh, I didn't realize. Damn it. You come down? I will. No, oh, I almost made it. Damn it. Oh my god. That's so interesting. It's like a... It's not even a custom boss. It's like, it's just the original boss, but with like a different arena. Oh my god. Oh, my heart was pumping. I don't think we got a midway there, so we have to redo the airship section. But honestly, the airship section wasn't that bad. Or I, I don't even mean bad. I mean like, you know, like that, not that difficult. I mean, I say that, we're probably going to fail it a thousand times now. Yeah, so the main thing I just didn't realize uh, was that I was supposed to wall jump there, but that makes sense. Um, yeah, I wasn't really talking much during the boss fight because I just wanted to concentrate. Oh, I appreciate that we get a life each time. That's nice. Oh, okay, let's do this. Come on. I feel like I can do this. I, I was really doing pretty well first time around. I guess I can't skip this. This is just like a different zone with uh, this text on it. It's kind of funny. I guess I can't get a, get a cheap jump first of, first, first of all, can I? Oh, God. Well, I immediately got it. Oh, damn it, I was too focused on jumping on him. No, damn it, I almost got him. Damn it. What? Are you kidding me?
Okay, I got him. I kind of had to damage boost out at the end. I didn't really have to. I just felt like, okay, I'll just go for this regardless of it, you know, damaging me. Ah, that's the end of the mod, right? I hope, I hope there's like not like a second phase or anything. No, okay, that's the end of that level at least. I don't think there's like another extra secret level. I was just a credits after this, but who knows? Yeah, the mod, the mod might surprise me. All right, let's check out. Uh, I think this one's two dash one, right? Yeah, maybe it's like credits or something. Or maybe it's just normal levels. I don't know. I don't know, yeah, we got all the flowers, it seems. Lovely. Thank you for playing. Oh, well, I, I quite enjoyed the mod. Bye, Diplo. Thank you, Nintendo, for making these flowers we. Thank you, Drip133, for the soundtracks. Thank you, Asu-chan, oh, for layouts, testing, and technical sports. And thank you, Gamerboy, Randon Lee, and Zimmer Block for testing. Shoutouts, Ryu Card, Nintendo, Grand Poobar, New Spirit Week, Kaizo. More to come? Maybe. Alright, yeah. I quite enjoy the mod mods, like I've said. Uh, I just wish, like, I think, I just think one is four is just not, not, not up my alley, basically. And I just didn't like, you know, the semi-puzzle elements. Especially where there were, like, random invisible blocks that were, like, only kind of indicated and stuff. I just didn't really like that. And, um, apart from that, yeah, I mean, the, the whole degree, degree aesthetic was cool. I just wish uh, things were a little bit more clear to see sometimes. Uh, but yeah, overall, I really enjoyed the mods, and I hope you enjoyed my playthrough. And that's it, guys. Bye-bye.